Uh, I received a, an email last week that said, why can't you just look at Amish children based on the misperception that Amish children are not vaccinated and we can figure out whether vaccines cause autism and other health outcomes. Yeah, so you can't look at Amish children and the way they're going to explain here because these study populations are very, very different. Amish children are raised very different. Their lifestyle factors are different. Environmental exposures are different. Um, their dietary habits are different. And the way that they access and use medic medicine and healthcare. Uh, I've never studied autism among Amish children, but my guess is that even if aut autism rates were about the same, they are probably much less likely to get diagnosed. And that's absolutely a very important thing within uh, the Amish um, argument. So yeah, Amish people do seem to have lower risks, uh, lower rates of autism. However, yeah, they are way less likely to be diagnosed because they're less likely to get evaluated. Um, and if we think about autism being having a very heavy genetic component, when you're in a small insular community, right, those traits are going to be pretty rapidly passed on. And if you are autistic and in a community of other people who are autistic and not diagnosed, it's hard to see a difference in the behavior uh, that would cause them to, to be diagnosed, right? Like they might be uh, less likely to see the uh, symptoms in their own children because they have the same ones, right? So we have to think about these particular factors and also looking at are they less likely to be diagnosed as, uh, diagnosed as well because of the fact that Amish societal norms and the way they interact with each other are is just very different at baseline, right? The way they talk to people, the way they make eye contact with people, the way they uh, structure their society, the things that we might write off as just a cultural difference may actually be reflective of a of neurodivergence that is just not being picked up because uh, it's being seen as a cultural difference. So where is the line here? What is the cultural difference? And what is uh, a symptom of neurodivergence? 